What could have happened or might have happened, that kind of, I no, guess. What, not really, no. I, um, again, I think it's important. People look at, if, if people look at the facts, people don't need to do facts. The bottom line, you run about management, man management, dealing with players. If a manager is going to step up in front of a, a group of players and staff um, and make, make accusations against any player, whether it be me or Robbie or Duffer or whoever it was, there's going to be trouble. You know, I wish it hadn't kind of panned out that way, of course. But again, I know it takes two to tango, and I have to look at my own part, of course. But I just think, well, again, I honestly, but like the United stuff, what was I supposed to say? You know, I've, I've missed, I've, I missed one game, and the medical staff were involved in making this accusation against me in front. But even if you can pull me one to one, and this was on the the World Cup, it wasn't three months earlier or three months later. We're flying out tomorrow, and you in front of all the group. Please tell me whatever. There's people in there who run businesses. I love to think, what do you think was going to happen when you make accusations against, I suppose, a character like me? But when this took off, you're looking going, you know, is someone going to interrupt this? And, and I think people, again, were, I, I think there would have been certain players there when, well, I, I don't really want to get, and I understand that as well. I don't, again, I don't think people should all step in. Yeah. They're probably saying, well, as long as I'm okay and I'm, I'm going to play in the World Cup. I understood all that. Yeah. Even the next morning, they're all leaving. And... Uh, and I definitely think I certainly had a different relationship, no doubt in my mind, with the Irish players than I had with my United teammates who were day-to-day -day stuff. And a lot of the lads I played with Ireland over a number of years, I never really got to know them. And I, I, was kind of, I suppose I wasn't really kind of that important to them. Because when we used to know for Ireland, particularly in the early days, you'd obviously come in on a kind of Monday morning, the game was the Wednesday. So you'd leave after some international trips going, I didn't really speak to anybody in that yeah. sense, because you've got training, you go back to your room. So I didn't have this kind of bond with the Irish players that probably thought might. And I had to remind myself when I was playing for Ireland what the game was all about, particularly at senior level. And people would sometimes question my character. Or he was a bit moody or just, which was all nonsense. I was there to win. I wasn't there to be pals with everybody. And I think that at the end when it kind of backfired, nobody was going to come up to my room and go, please come back, right? They were like, you know, if you're off, you're off. There's a selfish side to, to football as well. But then again, I think with my traits, as much as I knock myself, I've also played with captains, Kenny Cunningham, these people, who were obsessed with being popular and kind of pals with everybody and obsessed with the media. And you're going, yeah, but you're not going to try and win the game. No, no, I'll just try and be pals with everybody. <laughs> you're not for me either. You want your captains and leaders to be whatever's going on with them going, but I think they might help us to win the game on Saturday. So, um, but I won't get started on him. <laughs> Yeah. I'm he, sure Kenny would defend himself yeah. he, and Will. He, um, you, you know, it blows up and you go home and it's this unbelievably huge story. Like here, I'm sure you got word of how big it was. And you're out and you're walking the dog and or then you're doing the RTE interview. <laughs> and there's like a steel about you. There's no doubts. Just this front of someone. Did you, when you close the door behind you and you're in the midst of something like that, are you stressed or are you thinking, oh my God, this is, I'm, this is mad? No, you're, you're, I think the, the, the stress and all the worry comes for your, your, the rest of your family, really. Because I kind of knew, I, I was at the meeting, I knew what was said towards me, whereas other people were getting different stories, and he said that, and, he, and I'm pretty, well, I know, obviously, it would have been hard for my family in Cork. The pub player, and within three and a half years to USA 94, <laughs> what, 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 what was the, 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 the silver ticket, as it were? A pub player. I like the way you put that. Finished runners up a lot of the time, and they sort of had the edge on us. <laughs> Came over to me, the waitress, and mm -hmm. the lads were being a bit boisterous. Mm -hmm. And she said to me, um, What do you want to eat and what do you want to drink? So I ordered, but I tried to make a bit of conversation with her to make her feel more relaxed. Yep. So I said to her, Where are you from? Mm -hmm. And she went, I'm from Pennsylvania. And I went like that. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, and she went, no, that's Transylvania, you idiot. <laughs> the frustrations began to boil over, and predictably, Roy Keane became the centre of attention.
the dock over the serialization of his book. Fergie thought it was a good time to send Roy for the hip operation he so desperately needed. And the Roy Keane controversy continues. It would be almost four months before Keane returned. <laughs> rang me and offered me a, a few quid actually to do a big story on him and I declined the offer because it wasn't you know it, it was it was not enough me, right? <laughs> 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 um, so so you know I, I thought we would we would kind of shake on it and you know time as a good heel of it as it is would, would kind of settle it all down but you know we <laughs> that, that incident and the way we are together is it's still the same today it's still the same today it's you know, he's, there's no love lost. You've, have you seen uh, him since? You know, Was there ever a... Oh, loads, yeah, loads of times. Bumped into him on a plane. I've held the door open for him at Wembley. I've seen him in a restaurant about three or four months ago. Right. He was on a table, like three three tables down from me with his family. He didn't bat an eyelid. And, yeah, you know, it, it's up to him. If he wants to hold it for the rest of his life, then that, that's, that's, you know, I, I can't change his mind. It's up to him. But, but, you know, what I would say is, you know... If I've done anything to upset him, I apologise. Um, you know, but I'm 50 years of age now. I, I don't need to be worrying whether Roy Keane's going to send me a, a, a Christmas card or a birthday card. But it is what it is. People should uh, lighten up a little bit.